Peace tribe, it's your girl Sage Monroe. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am back today to take you on yet another adventure. This time we are going to Panama City, Panama, and I was flying in from Costa Rica. I had to take a five hour shuttle up to San Jose. And then from there, I flew into Tucumán Airport in Panama. I'm telling y'all there is no better feeling than when you cross the terminal. And you ain't got to panic no more because you know you made it on the right. <laughs> Peace, you guys. So I finally made it to Panama and I'm in the hotel right now waiting for me amigo to arrive. So we gotta do a little flashback, okay? Cause y'all have seen me amigo before on my channel. This is the guy that I met in the Bahamas um, who took me jet skiing um, on my birthday and we stayed in contact. So he's actually Panamanian and he was coming out here to, you know, do some things, see some family. And I was like, I want to come. <laughs> so being that I was literally in Costa Rica, which was a ride and I'm going to get to that. But being that I'm in Costa Rica, literally Panama is right underneath me. So I thought that it would be quick and affordable. And I'm gonna tap into those details too, but I'm here, we'll be spending the next five days in Panama, just um, discover, like, I guess I'm gonna be discovering since this is my first time, but just taking the place in, you know, this is my first time here, so. It's just that feeling when you get that stamp on the passport, you know? And um, yeah, I'm just so grateful to be here. And y'all know anytime I touch down anywhere, I gotta plug y'all in because y'all are travel travel girlies or guys just like I am. So um, I like for y'all to get like a very authentic um, experience. And I'm happy that I'm coming here with someone from here because that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get into my travel experience. Experience. So I was coming from Puerto Viejo um, in Costa Rica. So being that this is my first time traveling in Panama, I thought the best thing, not the most efficient, but the best thing to do, I thought it was really my only option was to go from Puerto Viejo five hours up to San Jose and take a flight from San Jose all the way over to Panama City. Cause I'm not in Mobus del Toro, no. I am in Panama City. Yes. So I did that and the bus ride is never really terrible for me. I could have definitely been more comfortable, but it wasn't terrible. I was just trying to make sure I made it on time because from the bus stop, it was a 30 minute ride to the um, airport. And from there, you know, customs, all the things like, but I made it to my gate one time. And I, as y'all can see, I got me a little Starbucks too. So we was coasting. The flight was like this. It was like an hour and a half flight. So it was not bad. And um, then I had to take an Uber, which was $13 for a 30 minute ride. I took an Uber from the airport to the hotel. So I literally been up since three o'clock in the morning traveling y'all, but this is life, you know, this is life. As much as I love to travel, the traveling part gets me every time. You know, it gets me every time, god damn. But like I said, I'm just grateful to have landed here safely and want have everything work out on time. And this is like literally just the beginning. The worst part is over, you know, now it's time for the fun. Um, I know my friend already has some excursions planned. I'm going to take y'all on the full-fledged journey. And I'm so excited to have y'all with me, per usual. Um, stay tuned for more details. So Peace. while I was waiting for my friend, I decided to go do some exploring for myself. I actually stopped at this restaurant to get a nice drink and then made my way back. This is the Airbnb we stayed at, y'all. It was so gorgeous. We were on the 28th floor, right in the midst of Panama City. And I will leave the details to the link in the bio. Once we were all packed, we headed out to go get some Jamaican food and it took a while, but it was banging. I'll put the link in the bio. The next day we took a bus tour to Tobago Isla, which is Tobago Island. And this had to be one of my favorite parts of the trip. It was a group bus tour and that honestly made it fun. We drank, we danced, we 
jumped off the side of the boat and swam. It was such a beautiful experience. This actually was an all-inclusive boat ride that included all-you-can-drink alcohol and they fed us one good meal. So once we made it to the island, y'all see they always ready to turn up. We love the energy. But it was raining. Um, the cloudiness does not keep an island from being beautiful. This was definitely a little rustic town. They had a lot of um, guest shops that included like handcrafted jewelry and clothes and other paraphernalia that represented Tobago. I didn't really spend a lot of time here. We stopped and got this very beautiful um, pina colada that actually came in a pineapple. It was wild. So you can't miss it. It's like the only restaurant that's like really close to the beach. Um, we didn't hang out for long. We eventually got right back on the boat. And in total, this was an eight hour boat ride, but it didn't feel like it took too long. It was actually a really great experience. How did you enjoy the tour? Oh, let me tell you, <laughs> had a good ass time. Uh-huh. I'm not even joking. It was like, you know, Long, it was a long trip, I'm not gonna lie, but it was the most fun. You know, we got to see the island and everything. Yeah. You know, different, completely different areas, different culture. Definitely. Something to see for real. But, um, you know, I had fun on the trip. The tourists, or uh, the tour guides, I should say, they were really fun. They were, yeah. Amazing people. I definitely enjoyed being around them. I got drunk. I got drunk. I got drunk. And look, you gotta hold your composure. Uh, I know how to handle my liquor, you okay. know? So Unlike you. But... So do I. I was handling my liquor pretty nice. Right. Yeah, you was, you was. Yeah. But, but yeah. You More know. to come, you know? Stay tuned, this, yeah. this ain't the last one. Ah! After the tour, we head back to the Airbnb to get cleaned up and ready for dinner. And as we were driving through Panama, I was just so like amazed at how technologically advanced this very petite part of Central America was and I was just really excited to see a new place so like I said advanced and beautiful and thriving. The next day we headed to Cologne, Panama which is the side of town that my friend is from and this is an even more rustic side of the country, an even more authentic side um, where you see even more brown people, which I love. But yeah, they were showing me that it's a little more underdeveloped, but they still do have a lot of resources and it is such a beautiful and culturally rich place. This is where I grew up. Okay. I grew up in all this. I'm from Cologne. Okay. Tell them. He lived here five years. So inside there are a lot of stores, uh -huh. like mm. huge stores that you can purchase brand names, stuff with brand names. In bulk, right? You, you can buy it by bulk. This was a day of learning about the culture and visiting family. And the native language is Spanish, so it was just phenomenal. Um, interacting with all of the natives and attempting to speak their language. After we went back to the Airbnb and y'all look at this view at night, you would think you were in New York. Do not play with Panama, okay? That canal is getting them to the bag, okay? <laughs> um, it was so beautiful and it just made everything so easy to get access to. The next day we went, picked up more familia and we went to one of the malls in Panama. Did you know that Panama has one of the hugest malls in the world? No, not this one, but they do. <laughs> you can learn more information about that on Google. This was such a beautiful mall. It had a lot of different food courts. I got me some shoes while I was here, but yeah, I would recommend checking it out. I will leave the name of this mall in my bio. Y'all, this was one of my favorite restaurants. We went the next day for breakfast and it was so delicious. 
I was really excited to see the Panama Canal. I was like, I can't go to Panama and not see the canal. They had us watch a movie that was narrated by Morgan Freeman that explained the history of it, what it is, and how it was built. And then we got to watch the ships go through and they announced where they were headed, how much cargo was on them. And it was a really dope experience. I would highly recommend going to see the canal while you're in Panama. I absolutely love the diversity of Panama, and this was one of my favorite places we explored. Hey y'all, we are out here in Costa de Viejo. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous city. I'm looking at it like, hmm, Costa Rica. Got some competition. For those who know, I live in Costa Rica, but I really like this coast. There's an ocean not too far away, and, um, it's just a really beautiful city. I'm gonna give you all the whole tour and yeah, take y'all with me. Peace. Y'all could not tell me I was not in Barcelona or Spain or Italy or something like that. I was like, how did we go from Cologne to Panama City to Italy that quick? This was a cultural drink being made. And speaking of culture, they were having a religious parade for Easter that went into the night and the streets were packed and it was beautiful. There was music and I just love that I got to experience and be in the midst of this very important and pivotal time in their culture. Overall, Panama exceeded my expectations. Not only did I gain experience, but I also gained love and an abundance of familia. I am definitely anticipating my return. Thanks for watching. Ciao.